So this one's a little more challenging, question number 15. Um, but you will use this a lot in your calculus classes, uh, thinking about the construction of a function. Okay, so we're, we're looking really, this is putting one function inside of another, and we're seeing the result here. And what we are being asked to do is put it back together. So we'll uh, maybe do the f function in blue, and let's see, that meant g of x red. And what we have is we have an inside function that's getting plugged into an outside function. So what we want to see is um, what's inside and what's outside. So uh, first of all, we can notice, let's see, the g is going to be the inside, so let's make that. Um, that 4x minus 7 is inside this square root. Okay, so this is all inside. 4x minus 7. 4x plus 7. That's inside the function. What's it getting put into? It's getting put into a function that is the square root of something. So that's the outside part. the inside. So you can see the inside and the outside. And what this composite really is, is what we have is f of something. And what is the inner part? It's g of x. Okay, so what's the inside part? g of x? That's 4x plus 7. And what's the outside part? The outside part is square root of something. We'll just put an x. Now, there's a use of this x and an x here. These are, if you want to think of different spots, different places, different things, different variables, actually. Uh, one of my students said it best a few years back when I was at Oregon State. They said, well, it's like x marks a spot, just like on a treasure map. And that's exactly what it's doing here. x is really just marking the place where the input goes. So the function, the, the outer function, is really just a square root of x. And then what we do is we put this composite, this other function, g of x, is going to go in for this x. So that this x is just uh, marking the spot where something goes. This x is marking the spot where something else goes. Uh, but mentally, it's very difficult to think of putting 4x plus 7 in place of x, because these x's are, in, in, a, in a sense, sort of the same thing. Uh, but in function notation, what we're really doing is x is just marking the spot where we will put the in input. Okay, so in composites, this is what we want to put. So in here, we'll type uh, simply the square root of x. And down here, we will type 4x plus 7. way um, but that's how that's done there's more than one way we could do this but this is uh, this is the cleanest way and it's the best way you're going to look at is, is try to see natural places where there's an inside and an outside um, and typically that's the simplest one is the one we want to use uh, when we're doing calculus with with functions